Today I'm going to talk about addiction and gambling. Addiction and gambling often comes up uh, with a real strong negative connotation and I think with any form of addiction we find that the, you know, whether it being a workaholic or whether it being an alcoholic or whether it be drug addicted, whether it be gambling, there's this negative connotation, there's a frame of reference that goes out and says that it's wrong, that it's bad. I want to go out and put a question mark around that because there's really an important facet to look at when it looks at addiction and, and, and the effects of addiction versus something that might be considered as entertainment. So gambling is becomes quite problematic and I suppose the word addiction tries to refer to it as problematic gambling versus gambling which can be entertainment. You see, there's, there's an easy way that we can go out and pull apart whether gambling is a problem or whether gambling is just enjoyable, entertainment and fun. If someone goes out and gets paid their weekly paycheck and they spend uh, their, their money initially on all their bills, whether it be fuel, electricity, full fuel, um, uh, food, rent, etc., and then they go out and say, I've got some money aside, I want to go out and spend this somewhere where I get joy and pleasure from. And they tend to go out and gamble, whether it be poker, poker machines, um, go to the casino. I would classify that as, as entertainment rather than gambling as such. They're using gambling uh, in, as, as a form of entertainment, which is enjoyable, and they can afford it. Having said that, if someone gets paid their weekly check and then they go out and they gamble it first and they spend more than what they can go out and afford so that they can't pay for fuel and food and rent, that's when it becomes quite a significant problem. And where this, this, this word of addiction comes from is when someone tries to stop themselves from doing so because they see the, the behaviour as being problematic but they're unable to do so. And so they repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. So I think it's really important to think about behaviours in that way and look at the function rather than making a quick snap decision about it. Because gambling can be really enjoyable and fun for some people. They enjoy going out and putting $20 on you know, a horse race or through the pokies. It might actually be a social uh, entertaining activity that they do with friends and is really enriching. On the other hand, someone might be sneaking out of work to try and, you know, win that money back that they so desperately need and in doing so they spend another hundred dollars that they can't afford and it causes all sorts of grief and problems. So when looking at addictions, whether they be of a drug nature, gambling nature or any nature, I think it's important to look at what's the function and how does it uh, show up in one's life before going out and making a judgment, whether it be negative, uh, which it usually is with that negative connotation, um, or can we reframe it and consider how does it show up in my life? How does it feature in my life? Clap.